All right, hey Leo, so I'm doing a quick energy check-in. Um, we're checking in on the silent actually. So we're spying on the person on your mind. Um, and this is gonna be a complete read on their energy and their energy alone, okay? So um, you guys will fill this um, read and you'll connect with it in your soul. Otherwise check your other placements, Moon Rising Venus, or check the, um, the sign of the person that's coming through your mind space, your heart space. All right. Also, let's see, there's some links in the description about the book I wrote on my twin flame journey, you guys. Um, it's more about the healing aspects, more so than a love story. So there's that. It just talks about how I got to um, this point today. So I'm going to start with their energy. And we're going to uh, pull as much as um, I can about this person. All right. So, oh, look at that. You got Aries coming through right there. You guys could feel deeply connected to this person as in twin flame. Um, all of the spiritual signs are coming out in one bang. You got Gemini, you got Aries, Leo, Sag, you got Aries, and then you got this eight of cups, which is going to be uh, Pisces, um, Pisces. So um, those are the signs that are coming through here. Um, I want to say that um, it's funny because this is actually the first um, sign that I've read that it just, it's like popping out like bam, right? Um, so what I want to say is um, this person, um, their energy, um, you know, this two of wands, um, it's, it's my twin flame card, but it's also a card about choices. And it could be that this person has chose or made the choice to walk away from the connection. Um, or it could be that you've, um, you know, kind of suffered um, some in and out energy, push and pull energy. Um, you know, I feel like with the page of wands, this um, is a depiction of new spiritual journeys. It's a spiritual path, spiritual development. Um, it's also, um, you know, removal of self-limiting beliefs. Uh, it's freeing the spirit and it's somebody who's discovering their limitless potential. If you guys have been in disconnection for a long time and you look at this person as a soul bond, a soul mate, a, a twin flame, um, I, I'll tell you this, this person is definitely um, having some epiphany, some revelations, maybe even some awakening to what this connection means to them, what it means to the universe and for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to pull and we're going to see what they've shown you in the past. What have they shown you in the past? Leo, what have they shown you? A lot of D. No, I'm just joking. But um, seriously, we got the Ace of Wands. That's the Mount Fallical card. So this could be something that um, uh, it could be a connection that was uh, based off of, you know, sex, um, friend would benefit, a situation ship that developed hardcore feelings. Okay, later on. All right, the, here's the Hermit card again. So I feel like what they've shown you is some in and out energy, phases of silence, phases of ghosting. Um, but overall, I feel like you don't carry any, um, I, don't, I don't feel like you carry any bad um, feelings or emotions towards them. Okay, I feel overall um, what they bring is peace, harmony, love, joy, happiness. Um, and you got that Ace of Wands, which is inspiration. They could have triggered an awakening within you. Um, you know what I mean? They could have triggered um, your own epiphanies and revelations. And you've been busy um, on your own journey, doing your own work. And maybe um, for some of you guys, you haven't even realized how much time has passed since you've last connected with this person because time does not exist, right? Um, the Ten of Pentacles, um, money, stability. It could be too that this is a reflection of what they lack or what they don't have. I mean, it could be that this person has a, a place more of, of a focus on material aspects in life. Okay. So um, I'm just going to see what it, how, how it is they're feeling about you right now how this person feels about leo oh yeah you guys this is crazy i have never seen this many synchronicities all right very very conflicted okay very very um, i'm gonna say wounded all right but where the wounds step in and it's not that you've caused them um you know it could be mutual it could be they caused um but they, they you know how how they're feeling about you right now is very guarded and it could be because of them their lack of of it of uh, coming towards you their lack of approach okay and it could be that you're over here with this high priestess energy um you know what i mean how they feel about you is that you are a divine um counterpart divine masculine divine feminine you belong in their life they know that you're here for a purpose okay but um that is going to be very scary energy and i'm sorry to say that because you guys may have heard that before but i feel like they're scared of uh, what this connection actually means. Um, it's an evolution connection. That's what I see here. Um, and I can't spin this no other way. Um, so if you feel like you've evolved spiritually and you've grown spiritually um, and you've overcome a lot of obstacles when it comes to love, um, relationships, how you see yourself, uh, I feel like it kind of, um, it, it definitely intimidates this person. But that is not a reason, you guys, in my book, that is not a reason to stay away. If anyone, some, if anything, a person should want to step in, evolve, and grow, you know, just as much. 
Um, unfortunately, I feel like in 90% of the cases I see on connections like this, it does not happen. Instead of a healing, they run. Okay. Um, and it can be a man or a woman. It does not matter. Um, in, in both cases, they run away because they're not ready to heal. Um, a lot of people at times think that they don't deserve um, the unattainable, which is to me, it's a red flag because everybody should want the best for themselves. So let's just see what's stopping them from contacting you. What is stopping them from contacting you? You could be over there just living your best life. Um, that's kind of what I see with that sun card. All right. You could just, it's almost like this. Yeah. You're healing, you're evolving, you're growing, you're moving into happiness. You're moving into contentedness. All right. Um, with the hangman card coming through, I don't know where I fit. I don't know where I sit um, when it comes to your life. And it could be because you are ultimately authentically living a life that you can say, this is the best version of myself I've seen since I've been born. Right. I can't help but feel like they're not reaching out because um, they feel like you're leaving them behind. They feel like uh, you're moving away from them. And this is what was that, you know, um, they're confused right now. I feel like they're confused. They see you healing. They see you grow growing, evolving. Um, they see your willpower, your strength, your happiness, your success. And it's almost like they're kind of seeing that from a distance. Okay. So let's just see. And I kind of know um, because of the dynamic that comes through here, um, I kind of know what the intentions um, were and are because I've experienced this dynamic. But uh, I'm going to pull to see what their intentions were beforehand. And you're going to you'll, you'll know it's again, it's going to sit with you. So their intentions um, beforehand um, when you guys were coming together. All right. So you kind of um, not like that. Okay. <laughs> so you got your eight of coins. Um, you got your 10 of wands and then we got the wheel of fortune card coming through. So I, I feel like this person had every intention to kind of make things happen with you. Okay. But what I'm going to say is this, um, and it could be too, that their intentions were focused on money again, stability, career. I got to have my stuff together before I can have a relationship. You blah, blah, blah. Right. Um, it, so I feel like their intentions, it's like almost holding you, um, at an arm's distance, holding on, you know, hold on loosely, just don't let me go. Right. I can't help but feel like with the energy that's coming through here, when I see the will of fortune card, you guys, again, it's like a spirit guide card for me. Um, and, and the chariot and the will of fortune are very powerful for me for some reason, because I feel like the, the spirit guides and the angels of this connection are stepping in and saying, Whoa, Y'all got to pill away, okay? Because if you're evolving and growing, Leo, and you're stepping into what you know your purpose to be here in life, if you're stepping into that and you're transitioning and this person's not, and they're more focused on the material 3D, you know, the, the shit that don't really matter, okay? It does matter because we have to be responsible, but if they're more focused on that, um, what they're doing is they're kind of blocking their own blessing. And I feel like the universe steps in, you know, your guides, your angels, they step in and say, we're going to pull you guys apart now because this one's growing and, and we don't want this one over here to pull this one back down. All right. So that's kind of how I see it, a universal step in. So let's just see, um, if they're coming back, what the next 30 to 60 days looks like the next. Oh yeah. Look at you guys, man, that is, you just got like this. Oh, wow. You got your night. Okay. So beforehand focused on one thing, um, couldn't get it together. Okay. The King of wands. I mean, he actually kind of dropped in sideways. You seen the night, uh, drop all the way in reverse. The King drops in sideways. And then we got this emperor card over here. So it's almost like they are coming back. Okay. Where they couldn't, where they got stuck beforehand. And there's going to be some evolution. Remember what I said their energy was, if this was a deep journey, you guys are going to see evolution when they come back out and look at this. You even got the page of cups, breadcrumbing. I'm going to get what I want. A page and night comes in reverse. You got the King and then the emperor. Boom. Um, this is, I'm getting the chills right now. Cause I, I just hope that whoever is seeing this, you really feel this in your spirit, man. Cause this is a, a phenomenal, um, it's a phenomenal read because you know what, honestly, I don't see too many, um, counterparts developing as quick as I feel this one is. So, um, let's just see what, uh, I, 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 I'm just like, yeah, I'm blown away. I, I gotta tell you, um, let's see what their intentions are when they come back, their intentions. Oh, here's, here's that wish fulfillment now coming through emotionally and materialistically. So they, they see that in you. They see that they're able to make um, a lot more happen with you. And it's probably based off of what they're seeing at a distance within yourself. Okay. The devil card coming through, I'm, I'm keeping it in reverse because I feel like that is the removal of ego, seeing you for who you are, what you're worth and what you bring. 
Um, and it's not, it's not even about that anymore. It's like, okay, now I want to be that matched energy. I want to be your counterpart. Um, you know, um, I see you over there and you're making big strides. Now I feel like for whoever is still here, you're not rolling your eyes at this. You're actually going to be very, very happy and full of sentiment because this is what the soul based journey, um, and the twin flame journey and the soul tie journey, whatever you want to call it. That is what exactly what it's about. Okay. So let's just see what the potential is for this to grow. Um, you know, hopefully forever and ever, but let's just see what the potential is. Oh yeah. Look at that. You guys. The Four of Wands came out in Aries Read 2. So you got your Seven of Swords. You got your Six. Look at that. Moving away from the drama. Moving away from the lower frequencies. Moving away from low vibrations. Gaslighting. Cheating. Lies. You know, manipulation. Projection. Blaming. Um, and really taking action. All right. To get this thing off, off the ground where it should be. So I can see you guys actually coming together and starting the spiritual work or the journey that um whoever is here you you know I, I just feel like for i'm talking to somebody who is here and you know exactly you're picking up what i'm putting down you're on the same page okay i cannot help but feel like you guys are going to start taking action towards that soul level journey that you're here for when this connection is recognized um it's beautiful man I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little choked up because I just wish that everybody was kind of elevated in that manner um, because I feel like we would be, um, a, a lot of us would be a lot more happier. And I mean, um, based off that vibration alone, um, the soul bond journey, the twin flame journey, um, that has the ability to lift and raise the vibration of humanity. It lifts, it lifts the frequency when um, a twin flame pair comes together. All right. So initials, we got QP. You got FY. And we got MI. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. You guys take care.